let us take the next uh, topic that is carbonyl compounds. The carbonyl compounds will have a functional group C double bond O. However, this carbonyl group uh, may have the different types of the groups based on these groups uh, they are classified into the two types. If this carbonyl group is one side if hydrogen is there the other side you can have an option now the option can be a hydrogen can be a, a some alkyl group or some aromatic group it can be an aliphatic aromatic or hydrogen. So, all these uh, one hydrogen containing carbonyl compounds are called aldehydes. But one side you must have a hydrogen. The other type of the classes compounds are the carbonyl compound will have a both the side option, but the option is not hydrogen. You can have an either alkyl group, alkyl group or alkyl and aromatic or aromatic and aromatic. That means you can have a two alkyls, two aromatic or one alkyl, one aromatic. So, all these compounds come under the ketones now. So, ketones will not have a hydrogen. If hydrogen is there, they come under the aldehyde. So, so some examples let us take. There are three common or popular the aldehydes are well much known. That is, uh, this is called farm aldehyde. Shortly, you can call it as a FA, farm aldehyde, right? And one side if uh, smallest the alkyl group that is CH3, H, let us call this acetaldehyde, okay? Common name it is acetaldehyde. And one benzene with uh, aldehyde. This let us abbreviate as a benzaldehyde, BA, farm aldehyde, acid, this CH3CO is called acid, therefore acetaldehyde. Benzaldehyde. There are three aldehydes are very popular. Similarly, under the ketones, uh, we have three ketones very much popular. So both the sides methyl is called acetone. Okay, it's a ketone, and one side benzene, one side methyl is called uh, the CH3CO function. Once again, call it is acid. Acid with phenyl with the ketone. Therefore, aceto phenone commonly known as acetophenone. The both the sides phenyl are benzene when it is. So, it, both the sides you must have a phenyl group. So, that means benzenes are there. This is called a benzophenone. Benzene with CO is called benzo with another phenyl benzophenone. So, three ketones and three aldehydes are very standard examples and uh, common or popularized examples. Taking these six compounds, you can have a the total study or the uh, representative on the aldehydes and ketones taking the entire study can be completed. However, you have the other ketones like uh, systematically the aldehydes are called alk enol, alk enol. So, alk re represents the number of carbons, A n for the saturation. If a double bonds are there, you can go for the enol and so on. Aldehyde is the uh, coding uh, the functional group. In this case, they are called alk en one. So, if you apply this IUPAC nomenclature for the aldehydes, so the first compound is one carbon, meth en all. This compound is meth en all. So, two carbons, eth, en, all. If one more carbon, prop, en, all and so on. So, now in this case, it is a alk represents the number of carbons, en, one. This is three carbon, therefore, prop, en, one. Four carbons, but, en, one. So, many carbons are there, then the keto position would be said. For example, in the case of five carbons, pentanone can be two pentanone or three pentanone. So, number of the carbon where this keto is there we have to mention. When this type of aromatic systems are there however, 100 percent uh, the IUPAC nomenclature that is the number of carbons representing cannot be done. So, this can be taken as a phenyl. So, phenyl containing ethane 1, phenyl ethanone will be the IUPAC name, diphenyl methane 1 that is the IUPAC name here, um, phenyl 
methanol, one carbon aldehyde, methanol, a phenyl is there, so call it as a phenyl methanol. However, specifically in the aldehydes and ketones, we have a function nomenclature. This function is form, therefore form aldehyde, acid with aldehyde, benz with aldehyde, benzaldehyde, these are all called function nomenclature, one of the common method. Here also, acid with a minimum one carbon acetone, acid with phenyl one acetophenone, benz with phenyl one benzophenone, these are all common nomenclature of function nomenclature. In the ketones, you can have two radicals, you say, then say ketone, dimethyl ketone, dimethyl ketone, methyl phenyl ketone, phenyl phenyl ketone, this is called radical and then function, radico functional method. So, radico functional names of these three ketones are dimethyl ketone, methyl phenyl ketone, diphenyl ketone. So, to, we have different methods of nomenclature. However, whenever aromatic system is there, the IUPAC nomenclature is not that prominent. We say acetophenone and benzophenone common names have become more popular. So, now taking the one classification, first classification is based on the presence of hydrogen. If hydrogen is there, it is aldehyde. If the hydrogen is not there, it is ketone. So, carbonyl compounds are two classes, aldehydes and ketones. In the aldehydes, you can have a further classification, only aliphatic system and aromatic, aliphatic and aromatic. Within the aliphatic, you would have a smaller size and bigger size like that also, you can classify. Even ketones can be aliphatic and aromatic ketones, one side aliphatic, one side both aromatic, okay. Like that, you can have a further classification.